If you want to make your first AI agent but don't know where to start, this is the perfect video for you. Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and today I'll show you how to build an AI agent which will search the latest news about AI, will take that news and will turn it into a real script, will turn it into a LinkedIn post with text and image as well and it will email it to you every single day. So every day you'll get a real script for an Instagram reel to record and a LinkedIn post that you can just post right away and grow your personal brand. If you want to start creating content or if you just want to put some content out there, build your personal brand, this is the AI agent that you need to build in your workflow. If that sounds good, hit the like button and subscribe and watch this video till the very end. With me, I have make.com. That is the platform we'll be using to build our AI agent today. It is the best platform for non-tech people to build AI workflows and agents from scratch without knowing how to code. Let me show you how to get started. It is free for you to sign up so you can go ahead and log in. Once you log in, this is the interface you will see. Now every AI workflow is called as a scenario and every agent is called as a make AI agent. Now in make.com, agent has access to scenarios that it can execute on its own. So let's start by creating a new scenario. This will be our new AI workflow. So the first thing you need to figure out is when do you want to trigger it? Now we will later automate it. Let's say every morning 11 a.m. you want to analyze the most important tech news. You want to turn that news into real and LinkedIn post for you and get an email for that. But today I want to basically have a trigger that I can use to get this workflow started. So I will get a simple webhook. We'll get a custom webhook and we will create a new webhook right here. So I'll just call it, you know, content generator webhook and I will click on save and this is the link that I now have. Now every time I will open this link, I will be able to trigger this workflow. That is essentially how this works. I'll click on save and this is the first module that we've made in our scenario. Every scenario is built up of these little drag and drop sections or modules with which you'll be able to build the entire workflow. So this is the first one. Now, once we have triggered this workflow, the next step is to find the latest news in the space of AI, for example. You can have it for in the space of tech, finance, business, whatever it is, whatever you need, you can mention it in the prompt. So we will need to get news. And the best AI tool to find news is perplexity. So I'm going to search perplexity right here. And as you can see, they have so many different apps that you can attach, so many integrations, but we will go and do a create a chat completion in perplexity AI. So this is going to be our module, which will search the latest news in AI. So if you will see, we will need to have a connection. Now I've already connected it to my perplexity account, but the way it works is that you have to click on add and it will ask for an API key. And to get the API key, you just have to go to this link called perplexity.ai slash account slash API. When you will do that, you will come to your perplexity account. You'll have to create an API group. So I've just made a group called make.com, try perplexity for a make.com workflow. Uh, and once I have entered that, I can set up my billing. So I have already, you know, added $5 into it. And once you do that, then you can go on to API keys and generate your own API key right here. So this is what my API key is. I will blur it for this video and you can just click on create and you can keep using it. You can also view the usage metric over here, but you get the API key, you paste it over here and now you have a perplexity connection. Then you have a model. So I've selected Sonar, which is their basic model which searches for news, but you can also go for Sonar Pro, Reasoning, Reasoning Pro, depending on what you want. I just want to keep it simple. Here is the most important part, which is the prompt that we will enter on perplexity. So this will be add item. This is the message. So the content and the role. So I'll set the role as the user. So I am the user and I'm giving it a prompt. Now this is the prompt that I have added. So it says, find and analyze the most important AI tool or product that was launched in the last four to five days. Your goal is to summarize it in plain language based on reputable sources. Respond only in valid JSON format like this. So we get title, which is the name of the tool or product. We get a detailed summary of what this tool does and then the URL, direct link to the best source 
article about it. So this is the information that we will get from this perplexity module. Rest all we can leave blank and click on save. So now we have a workflow which will search for the top AI news and will give us the top AI tool launched in the last few days. Now let's just save this and try to run this module right here and I will enter and hence trigger this workflow and it will now search for the most important news. And let's click on this magnifying glass and look at the output. So we get search results. So if I click on search results, I get the top news. So Gemini's AI big news, massive upgrades. Now we need to wrap this data around braces. So I'll just go for tools. I'll click on compose a string and I'll basically add the search results right here. So that is going to be the content. We will now add a JSON parser. So I need three different outputs from this, which is going to be the title. It will be the summary and the URL. So I need to get that out from the output I got from perplexity. So I will basically have my data structure, which is basically looking like this. So you can see title text summary is also text and URL is also text. That is how it looks like. We'll click on save and the JSON string that we will add is going to be the output from this tools module from the before one. We'll click on save and now we can add our next module. So, so far we have three outputs from this particular workflow that are title, summary and the URL for every headline. Now I will add the next module which will be the Gemini module which will create the real script and the LinkedIn post for us. So I'll go ahead and say Gemini and we will click on create a completion. So if you've never used something like make before, let me show you how to attach a AI chatbot with it, right? So you have Gemini right here. I need to basically click on add to connect it to a, my Gemini account. And here I need to paste my API key. So basically I go to AI.studio and over here I'll click on get my API key. I'll click on create an API key and then it will make an API key for me like I have below. So I can just copy this and I can add it here in my API key field and click on save. When I will do that, I will have a good to go connection for me. I already have one set up for me. Now in the AI model, I want to go with 2.5 flash. So Gemini 2.5 flash is the latest and the fastest model that we will go ahead with. Then we have the messages. This is again the important part where we'll enter the prompt. The role is going to be that of a user. Parts will have message type. It would be a text message. And here we will enter the prompt that we want the AI chatbot to take. So in this case, I want to add a massive prompt which includes information for how I want my reel to be like, for how my LinkedIn post to look like. And then I'll also give it the output I'm getting from my perplexity module. So this is what the prompt looks like. So I say act like a top tier content strategist, right? This is today's top AI news. So I give it title and this title is basically going to be from this. And then we will have the URL, which will be from right here. And then we will take summary to be choices message content. So basically we are going into perplexity. We are going on to the choices. We are going on to the messages and the content. So this is basically the summary part of it. So if I will close this, I will see this as the main prompt. So I say write a 150 word Instagram real script in the style of Vishayam Sharma, creator who explains tech and AI news in clear, casual, dramatic way that sounds natural in English. Then I say follow this format, start with a bold hook, explain what is happening. And I have written down how I like to speak. And then I also have written the style in which I want my LinkedIn post to be like. So it says summarizing the news right in this format, start with bold, exciting one liner that creates curiosity and then end with a question. So that's how it looks like. This is my long prompt. And then I have given it the format in which I want the output to look like. So return your output in a clean HTML format for email using the following structure. So you have uh, the heading two tag, you have Instagram reel, then real script here, then you have LinkedIn post, LinkedIn caption here, and then you have the URL and the title over here. So the title is going to be right here. 
and we are good to go. So what I'm doing here is basically I'm passing variables from the previous modules outputs. So the outputs of the previous module will become the inputs for my next module. So as you can see, I have entered the title which I got from my JSON module and this choices message content as summary from my perplexity module right here. Now I can click on save and we are good to go. Now you can actually test it out. I'll click on save. I'll click on run once and I will again enter this link, hence triggering this entire workflow. It will search for the AI news for us. We got the latest AI news and now it is turning that into our real caption and LinkedIn post. And it gave us an output. So I can click on this and I can see the first operation. I can go on to the result and this is what I got at the end of it. This is in HTML format so you can put it and you can get a very well scripted thing out. Okay, now let's keep building. So we already have the script and the LinkedIn post. The next step is to get our image created. And for image, we need to do two things. I was thinking to make a image in which I am on the laptop and I have the most important text from the news written on my t-shirt and written on the laptop as well. So maybe that is the image I want to create. So I'll click on add another module. I'll want to have a Gemini. I'll say create a completion. And just like we did before, we will be using the 2.5 flash model. The message role would be user, the parts would be text, and now we can enter the message that we want. And this is what the message will basically look like. So based on the following AI news, return the single most important word that represents the main topic of the news. And we have the summary from the perplexity output that we got. So now I will click on save and I will add another module now which will actually create my image. So you can create your image using various different apps. I am using Gemini because I have the free API for that. You can do the same if you want to, or if not, you can use ChatGPT API key. You can use any other app as well by simply having a HTTP module and sending a request for that app. So I'll click on create an image. And for this case, we would be using the image gen 3.0. So this is the latest image generation model. I can enter the image prompt. I will select allow adults and I'll keep the aspect ratio to be one is to one. In this case, I want it to be like a Lego styled image. So this is the prompt for it. Don't worry, I'll put all the prompts in the description of the video and you can take it from there if you want this exact version. Now this result is going to be from our latest model of Gemini, which is the one word that we want to put on the t-shirt. And then we can just click on save. So now we have a workflow which gives us an image, a real caption, a LinkedIn post caption, and that is all. The next step is to send this to us on email. So let's add that and complete our agent right here. So I will basically search for Gmail and I'll click on send an email. Now for this also, you will have to add a connection. So you'll have to log in with your email ID with your Gmail ID to allow make to send emails on your behalf. So if you do that, you will basically have this connection like I do right here. I'll put this as my email address. Let's just say this is my email uh, subject. I can say um, today's top AI news. I think I can take the result from the previous Gemini model and that could be the subject. Again, as you can see, it is completely variable. You can have variables from the previous modules that you can put into it and that looks very good to go. Then we have the content. Now this is where you will have the body of your email. So you need to specify what do you want the person to see at the end. Before that, we can also add an attachment. So this is an attachment for the image that we have created. So we'll click on add an attachment and you can select Gemini AI create an image. So the output we get from it will be the attachment of this email. So that is good to go. Now we just need to sort out the body and this is what the body would look like. So today's AI content, I will basically put this, the result that you get from the Gemini module, which creates the LinkedIn post and caption and the script for us. And this is the image source. So I've set it as CID, which is content ID, AI image. So basically we need to say AI image right here so that it is able to reference that. So we're just basically naming that this image is called AI underscore image, uh, AI underscore image. And then we are referencing it in our email itself. So it will basically be putting that image in line with the content. So once you do that, you can basically click on save and uh, that's good to go. Let's run this. The webhook is triggered. 
Publicity is searching for the latest AI news. It sent the AI news to the Gemini module to make the real script and the LinkedIn post caption. We are figuring out the most important word from the news, which we can put in the image. And now we are creating an image itself. And now we are sending an email with the image attached to it. And this is what the output looks like. As you can see, we got the Instagram real script. We got the LinkedIn post. Again, this is in Hindi. We can always change that by tweaking the prompt, but this is the LinkedIn post that we got. And this is the image that we got, which we can attach to the LinkedIn post itself. Now, again, I am sure you can tweak it. You can make it your own, whatever image you want, but this workflow is working for us. Just look at the real script. It says, Ruko, Ruko, chat GPT, ab sirf baate nahi karega. Ye tumhara personal assistant banega. Open AI ne game badal diya hai, bhai. Unho ne launch kiya hai, chat GPT agent. Ye kya hai? Socho. ये अब सिर्फ क्वेश्चन आंसर नहीं करेगा ये तुम्हारे लिए वेब ब्राउज करेगा कोड रन करेगा मीटिंग्स प्लान करेगा एंड सो मच मोर दिस इज द अमेजिंग रील स्क्रिप्ट दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली रिकॉर्ड एंड मेक इट लाइव जस्ट बाय रीडिंग इट आउट नाउ वी कैन क्रिएट एन एआई एजेंट बाय गोइंग ऑन टू मेक एआई एजेंट्स एंड क्लिकिंग ऑन क्रिएट अ न्यू एजेंट जस्ट नेम इट कॉन्टेंट स्पेशलिस्ट वी कैन एड द सिस्टम टूल्स सो दिस इज बेसिकली सिनारियो दैट द एजेंट हैज एक्सेस टू सो विल क्लिक ऑन प्लस एंड वी कैन एड दिस एज आर फाइनल कॉन्टेंट जनरेटर वर्क and we can click on add and after that we'll just mention what does this agent really do i have just mentioned a very basic system prompt and we now have system tools as well now we can click on save and this is our content specialist ai agent now how do we use this agent so you basically go on to teams and let's say you want to create a new scenario here you can now attach this agent into a scenario so i can just mention agent so make ai agent run an agent and we can select which agent we want to run and we can select which agent we want to run so i'll click on content specialist and this has access to the scenario that is right here i can click on save and then i can keep building on top of it so let's say once it sends out all the email i wanted to actually generate the image generate the video for me as well so now i have access to this one ai agent which i can keep running every 15 minutes or i can keep running whenever i wanted to run and that is how you make an ai agent from scratch now the best part is you don't have to build these scenarios yourself all the time you can take access of all of these public templates which are super super useful that you can simply attach it in your ai agent and keep it going so save gmail email to google sheets is a new row there are so many of them that you can just keep browsing and selecting and using for your own advantage that is the best part about make templates now one last thing i want to show you about make is the grid feature in which you can view how all of the scenarios connect with each other and what services they use with each other it's super handy if you're making multiple different scenarios if you're connecting various services with other services and other tools and modules you can view it all in just one place and it's very great to explain it to someone who doesn't really know about how to make agents or how does make.com work so they can have a very clear visual experience of what that would look like that is all from me today you just built your very first ai agent pat yourself on the back go make some more of your own run it use it to your advantage and become better every single day the best thing to do in 2025 is to upskill with ai and use it in your life 24/7 as much as you can for whatever task that you have to execute on that's it from me i'll see you in the next video bye bye